Hi everyone! Today, we're going to learn how to test the tearing strength of fabrics. This is an important test to see how resistant a fabric is to tearing once a tear has started. This is especially important for things like industrial textiles, bulletproof jackets, tents, jeans, and even aesthetic apparel. A tear in a fabric or garment generally occurs progressively along a line and can be initiated by a moving fabric being caught on a sharp object. Mainly two types of tearing strength test commonly used in textile industries. Number one, tongue or single rip tear test. Two cuts are made in a sample to form a tongue shape and the sample is then pulled in a tensile testing machine to measure the force required to continue the tear. Number two, Elmendorf tear test. This is a common method used to determine the force required to propagate a tear through a fabric. A pendulum device tears the fabric, and the energy absorbed in tearing the fabric is measured. Today I will describe how to conduct the Elmendorf tear test by using the ISO 13937 Part 1 method. First, let's prepare our fabric samples. We need five specimens cut in the length direction, also called the warp direction, and five in the width direction, known as the weft direction. To do this, we place the tear template on the fabric and mark the size. Each piece should be 100 mm by 75 mm. Then we cut out a small piece, 15 mm by 12 mm, from the top center of each sample. We'll do the same for both warp and weft specimens. Next, we condition the specimens. This means we keep them in a controlled room at 20 degrees Celsius and 65% relative humidity for a specific time. This makes sure our tests are accurate. Now, we're ready to test. We place the tear strength tester on a sturdy table and set it to zero. We also check the weights to make sure they're calibrated correctly. We select the right weight for our samples to get results within 15% to 85% of the full scale. Then, we place the first specimen in the clamps of the tester, making sure the long edge touches the bottom step of the static clamps. Next, we use a knife to cut a 20 mm slit in the bottom edge of the sample. The cut should be clean, and the fabric should stay in place. We release the pendulum to tear the fabric. Once it's done, we catch the pendulum on its return swing to avoid disturbing the pointer. We then read the result from the scale or digital display. It's important to check that the tear happened in the central area of the specimen. If it didn't, we discard that result. We repeat this process for all the remaining samples. Finally, we calculate the mean strength for both the warp and weft directions. If some specimens didn't tear, we report their strength as greater than the maximum capacity of the pendulum used. And that's how we test the tearing strength of fabrics. This helps ensure that fabrics used in high performance and industrial applications are strong and reliable. This video is proudly sponsored by Chiuvention, your partner in innovative and reliable textile testing. Discover their smart and easy to use tearing strength tester designed to deliver consistent proven results with the efficiency of automation. With built-in IoT technology, this tester connects seamlessly to the Smartex lab application. Set parameters, monitor tests, and receive essential alerts, all from your smartphone. Innovative Balance Pendulum Plate Design ensures the highest level of testing accuracy. With the center of gravity perfectly aligned, achieve reliable Elmendorf tear strength tests every time. This tearing strength tester automatically recognizes attached weights adjusting effortlessly to the correct force range for optimal testing. With the goal of innovate, automate, excel, Chuvention supports you at every stage of your textile testing journey. Visit Chuvention.com to learn more.